that here we have a, a specified pass why because you know that when you are sending one specific when you uh, you are using one specific label you will uh, forward the packet from a specific pass this means that r1 can select which pass can be used here uh, we have another type of tunnel this is another type of tunnel in this type of tunnel we don't configure the or we don't use a, the, a new ip header we are using one label or in some cases more than one label to selecting the uh, pass or uh, the tunnel this means that when you are using the label 300 finally the packet should reach with a specific requirement uh, to the rotor 4 this is the tunnel okay another form of tunnel this is the traffic engineering tunnel okay you will better understand this type of tunnel but now you can understand that why we need to configuring the traffic engineering tunnel the traffic engineering tunnel is a container here in the r1 after uh, configuring uh, the global features as i as we did before now we need to configure one interface tunnel this interface tunnel is a container for our configuration i will talk about that but before that let me to say that in the uh, traffic engineering tunnel we have a head end and also a tail end as i mentioned before the head end rotor is the rotor that we are configuring the interface tunnel on this head end rotor and we don't need to configure necessarily then uh, for example tail rotor with interface tunnel you know that in GRE tunnel we need to configure on both endpoint and about the two endpoint we don't have any difference but in the uh, traffic engineering tunnel we have a one-way tunnel from head end to tail uh, end rotor if you want if you need you can configure another tunnel from tail end to head end but it's not necessarily uh, for example it's not, it's not necessary and maybe in some cases you configure this uh, uh, another uh, for example form of tunnel but here in traffic engineer tunnel traffic engineering tunnel the uh, pass is started from the head end rotor to tail end rotor traffic engineer ton uh, and engineering tunnels can give us a, a source routing means the r1 can select the pass can uh, examine the pass means uh, for example it can uh, examine the pass about the bandwidth or some other constraints and after that select the pass and because of that the everything should occurring in the head end rotor after head end rotor reserving the pass uh, with the rsvp message it should select a label and after that with that label the pass is uh, specified and other rotors only should switch the packet to the destination you will better learn about this detail in the future uh, uh, videos and also in the future courses in, uh, in future scenarios in this course but let me to say that now we are con we need to configure interface tunnel zero in the head end rotor and this is the traffic engineering tunnel let me to start the configuration of the interface tunnel the next step in the configuration of the te in our scenario here we can configure the interface tunnel with the desired number rotor config okay this is only a container interface tunnel tunnel number for example tunnel zero okay and after that rotor config if you know that in GRE tunnel we are configuring tunnel source tunnel destination because we need to encapsulating the packet again but here because we don't have any encapsulation a new encapsulation or a new ip header for example we don't have any command tunnel source or tunnel destination the first command is the ip addressing command you can assign one ip address to this interface tunnel why you know that when you are configuring the interface tunnel uh, you need to use this interface tunnel on the routing table for example for forwarding the specific uh, uh, traffic uh, with this interface tunnel and only the interfaces with the ip address can be available on the routing table because of that you need to configure one ip address the ip address is not important we don't use this ip address in, in uh, other uh, for example part of the scenario because of that in most cases in traffic engineering tunnels we are using ip unnumbered command you know that we can assign the ip address okay to one interface of router and 
that IP address should be unique, uh, should should have the unique subnet. Let me just talk about this. Look at here in router uh, in this router when you have two interface, for example, fast Ethernet 00 and also fast Ethernet 01. If you assign the 192.168.11 slash 24 to the uh, fast Ethernet 00, okay, as the IP address, and also one IP address in the same range in the same network to the fast Ethernet. 01 for example 192.168.12 slash 24 you will receive overlap error message this means that you need to change the ip address of the for example fast 01 and assign the ip address in another range for example 21 okay why we can't assign the ip address from same range on the on this router the answer is so easy look at here assume that this ip address can be accepted uh, 1 to slash 24 when a router uh, from other interfaces for example the next interface is the serial 10 okay uh, assume that in our, in this router we have another interface the serial 10 when this router receives a packet with the destination of 192.168.1.10, the router cannot, uh, for example, find the specific interface that the destination IP is available from that interface. Routers can work only between the networks, not inside of the networks. Because of that, you know uh, from your other studies, uh, you know that uh, we can assign the IP address to different interface of a router with different range, for example, to one this is the normal ip address configuration but we have other option uh, in ip addressing and that is for example ib ip unnumbered then a, a specific interface name for example a uh, fast ethernet 01 what does this mean this means that the uh, fast 00 this means that uh, uh, it means that i we don't need to assign the ip address to this interface and because of that we are using the ip address of fast ethernet 00 this is only suitable in some cases when you don't want to use this ip address for communicating with outside of network okay in rarely cases in real ip world we are using the ip unnumbered fast ethernet 00 this means that uh, it means that a router should use the fast ethernet 00's ip address uh, for this interface for only uh, the link local communication this is similar to the link local ip address in ipv6 okay but in a uh, traffic engineering tunnel we can use this ip unnumbered with the interface name for example loopback zero because we don't need to assign any real ip address to the tunnel number and uh, for example maybe this is complex maybe uh, we need to uh, carefully con uh, consider can carefully assign the ip address because that ip address is used in another interfaces we can only easily using ip unnumbered loopback zero okay why because this interface this ip addressing only is useful when we want to use this interface tunnel on the uh, routing table because of that uh, i recommend that you are using the ip unnumbered with the interface name in this router for the interface tunnel ip addressing if you want you can assign one real ip address it's okay okay after that we need to configure this interface tunnel the first uh, command is tunnel destination okay you know that we are using the uh, tunnel destination in gre tunnel uh, and also uh, in maybe some other uh, encapsulation type tunnel but here the uh, tunnel destination destination ip is not a IP address for, uh, for example, uh, encapsulating the packet with this destination IP. This can uh, say to the uh, interface tunnel, okay, you the tail end IP address or tail end router, uh, for example, uh, IP address. This means that this tunnel can be calculated to this destination IP. For example, in, in our scenario, the destination IP is quad four. Okay, you will better understand it, but you know you need to configure configure the tunnel destination also the next command is enabling the mpls uh, traffic engineering or the conf uh, considering configuring the tunnel mode you know that in gre tunnel we are configuring tunnel mode gre ip or in other uh, i configure in other type of tunnel we need to configure tunnel mode here also we have the tunnel mode command the tunnel mode is mpls traffic engineering okay this is the tunnel mode 
and after that we need to configure the requirement of this tunnel we have many type of uh, requirement i will talk about them in the uh, for example future videos but for now let me to talk about only the bandwidth requirement uh, with the kernel for con uh, the uh, command for configuring the bandwidth requirement is tunnel mpls traffic okay this is the uh, for example uh, which this is a command uh, that we are using in most cases in um, configuring different features of the traffic engineering tunnels tunnel 